So this is a 1999 Sunlight uh, travel camp, uh, truck camper and it's an 8-footer and I'm going to show you some of the things that I did to rehab it and customize it to my own needs. Uh, right now I've got a little solar panel charging the batteries. I'm going to eventually rewire that so I'll leave the solar panel up there all the time. Uh, some of the th quick things that I did on the outside was uh, we used navel jelly and took all the rust off all the jacks and repainted those. Uh, replaced the, the broken cap door. These are I've owned two of these and I've had to replace both of these because these cap doors just are horrible. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, I actually built a dolly that you can see it's sitting on with wheels so that when it's off the truck camper, uh, off the truck, I can push it around the driveway easily by myself. So that way I can tuck, tuck it away in places that it normally wouldn't fit. Now one of the things that when I got the camper, the lady had uh, horses, so she had made custom uh, drapes and things like that for horses with little ponies on them, and it gave me the idea to do a theme. So what we did in here is a Southwest theme. So we're going to see a lot of buffaloes, we're going to see a lot of Southwest colors. Uh, from the outside here, added a little exterior light for the steps, and I also, this you've probably never seen before on a truck camper, this is a cassette toilet that we added. So you can easily, you'll see the bathroom, take all your waste out, dump it easily in a toilet or a porta potty when you're camping, and it's flushable. And when I installed this, the piece I cut out, I actually reused in here, so it gives it a very nice look that it was factory installed. Going on the inside, you see the southwestern theme starts with the carpeting, and my daughter, Monique, uh, helped pick out all the magical colors that you'll see in here. Uh, we even painted doors. There used to be two drawers here, but drawers, you lose a lot of space in there, and this space is actually pretty huge, so I made a couple of doors and put those on there. Upgraded the, the sink to a taller faucet so you can actually get things under there. And this is uh, how the toilet set up in here. This I actually ordered from uh, Great Lakes Marine. Uh, I guess they're pretty popular in uh, the Marine. And you got a push button flushing. And I put a little light in case you're in here. <laughs> and that goes right down into the cassette and then you remove it from the outside like I showed you. So coming more into it, like I said, now you can appreciate all the different colors. And pretty much the whole theme started from A, the lady with the horse curtains, Denise. And I had found this piece of cloth just with the uh, cowboys on it, with the silhouettes. And my wife Gina made the entire blanket for the camper, and then we continued the theme on. And that's kind of why we had the silhouette doors with the coyote and the the cactuses on the on the doors I made. Let's show them. So that's the silhouette thing we're shooting for. We also put the buffaloes in the back and the buffalo curtains on the little thing that you bang your head on. You always gotta. You can never take these off. I hit my head two times a day on that. For the table and dinette area, there was a full-size table. Uh, I kept the, the wood and cut it down because you still want to be able to make this into a bed, but I went with a smaller table because there's just two of us. This I made out of a piece of butcher block and I actually made a drawer in it so when you pull the drawer out, you can set your coffees here. And if you keep going, of course you got a little extra storage for your remote controls and whatever else you need. And this is obviously movable from one spot to the other, so it gives you a little little leeway to, to do some things. Added extra electrical outlets there and here and one for the TV on the other side. Put in a power outlet panel. This will keep track of my battery voltage. It'll give me USB ports, an extra power port for any other accessories in case you have tons of cell phones. Upgraded to a new smoke detector and carbon monoxide because those should be replaced every 15 years. Uh, some of them are only 10 but with the age of the, the camper I decided to replace that. I also took out, there used to be two doors here 
Well, actually, there was one door, and this was a closed panel. And I opened this all up because I want to have room to put bins with shoes and whatnot underneath here. And under here, we did a lot with uh, the electrical. This is my solar hookup for now. I'm going to wire that in totally. That's a solar controller. I hard mounted the battery charger. I put in another electrical box because I had to expand things like the 12, the toilet fl flushes on 12 volts. And I had all these other accessories here, so I decided to just put another panel in. It's pretty easy to work on. There's plenty of room in there. Took a piece of the carpet that we cut out and used that as a extra step to get up into the bed. On the bed, as far as this, uh, we upgraded. I put uh, helper shocks to lift it up on either side and I actually put a rod in here too and mounted that in here with bolts on both sides so you don't have to hold it. Now the drawers I took out of underneath the sink I actually cut them down and painted them and I'm going to leave them in here for like sock drawers so your socks aren't rolling everywhere and obviously we painted everything inside and out. And I think that's about it. And all the, uh, every, every surface that we painted, I had my wife make a little doily for, so that it'll stay nice and unscratched. Did I miss anything? The toilet paper holder. <laughs> yeah, you have to order those out of Texas if you want them to match. You know, it's, uh, they have everything on eBay. And the only other big thing I added was this little, little half wall here. And it gives a little privacy for the bathroom. Uh, we may put a curtain up here to give a total private bathroom. But for now, it's just uh, Gina and I, so it works. Okay, continuing on the outside, I uh, replaced a lot of the lenses. They're all nasty. Uh, repainted the roof with uh, the nice Henry's RV roof ceiling. And I did all the, the caulking around there. There was uh, stripes on the back that matched the ones on the side, but they were pretty pretty faded, so I took those off and repainted the back. And one of the neatest, coolest, quick upgrades to make your camper look good is you can replace all these. Uh, Gina and Monique did that. It took them maybe an hour to replace all the ones on the, the camper, because these are the ones that get all mold in them, and you can buy a coil of this. Uh, I think it was 100 feet for $7 from Amazon. It was very easy to do, and like I said, it was one of the quickest things to, to make it pop and look clean again. If you have any questions, please leave me a note in the comments. So a little more in-depth about the way that this was originally laid out. This was just one very long bed before I started. Uh, so I had some extra cushions. I built uh, this rack here. I built a little side stand next to the bathroom. Uh, and that gives you the access to the outside. And I've built this little cabinet. We'll probably put our little pots and pans in there or uh, toiletries. And while I had this all apart, put in the wiring, the 12 volt switch for the, the flushing. And on this side, I put in another 120 volt receptacle and that will power the TV. I mean, I'm not married to where the TV is. That could be changed with the microwave, switch them around, whatever seemed to work. but. That's a good size for right there. And when I ran all the cabling for all these devices, what I had to do was build a little fake runway down here. So I extended the, the bed out this far. And this piece actually comes out. And you can see I built a channel system and I put steel on the top to give it the extra support for when you have the bed down and this is all just wood and inside this this channel is where the water and the electrical run so it's all still pretty modular in case after after get back in there again or i want to run extra lights and speaking of extra lights i did upgrade the lights on the ceilings uh, they had the single bulb these are the old units here that were on the ceiling and i put in these new bulbs and they give the the double brightness uh, these are on amazon for Reasonable price, like eight dollars a piece. And the other one, there was two of them. There's one above the sink as well. And what I did with the other extra light is I brought it around here and put it next to the bed. It's hidden in the side here. 
and it's a little backlight. And that also lights up the step as you're stepping in and out of the bed at night. Now the last challenge that we have are the screens. We tried several different ways to repair the massive rips. Every screen had little drag rips in it just from age. Uh, we tried the heat shrink stuff that you put on there. That didn't really work. We tried hand stitching with gluing. That didn't work. What actually worked is just restitching in an entire screen <laughs> by hand. Uh, and that's what we did up there. That's why that one's done. So we still have four to do, but to do it by hand without taking the canvas off, it's like an hour per screen of just stitching. And that's not my call, so that's uh, Gina's job. And uh, so when she gets to it, she gets to it. And, uh, but at least right now they're all patched up. And like I said, we've tried every method to repair big grips and screens and there is no good method, especially when your screen's gonna fold down and pop up, fold down and pop up. So you gotta really just do it uh, that way. And Gina made all the matching curtains that will go with the quilt.